Hey y'all, Candace here from Little Steps Big Happy. I talk about health and fitness for moms. So today is part five in my series where I'm talking about how to set health and fitness goals. If you haven't watched the past videos, definitely go check them out. There's some super good information in there. I talk about how to set a deadline, how to break your goal down into manageable pieces, you know, how to create a daily and weekly action plan. There's a lot of good information in there. So today is the last video to wrap this up. And what I wanted to talk about today is that when you're setting health and fitness goals, it's super important to keep things manageable. And so what I mean by that is when you're adding these new healthy habits in your life, whether you're trying to drink more water, plan your meals, exercise more often, you need to be really realistic and honest with yourself about how much you can actually do and keep up with. You know, we have busy lives. I don't know about you, but like things are crazy for me. You know, I've got work, I've got kids, I've got the house, I've got my husband, I've got all the things. And when I'm trying to add things in my life, if I put too much on my plate, I can't keep up with it. You know, I, I get burnt out, I get tired, things start slipping, I fall back into old habits. You know, it's so easy to end up in survival mode because you're trying to make too many changes at once. It's just, it's just not sustainable. So what has helped me, you know, a lot in the past, and I definitely, definitely suggest, is pick one or two habits and just start slow. Just be like, okay, I'm just going to focus on these two things this week. You focus on those until you master them, and then you can pick the next one. You know, and you pick another two, and then you add those into your life, and you kind of continue, and you continue to kind of build from there. And it's like building steps, right, a staircase up to your goal. It'd be cool if we could all just jump up there in one go, but I mean, if that was doable for us, most of us would already be where we want to be. You know, instead, what works a lot better is you start layering on these healthy habits a little bit at a time, a little bit at a time, and you keep going from there. And then next thing you know, you know, you look up six months from a year from now, and, and you're managing all kinds of things that were too difficult to tackle all at once. The best analogy I could think of to kind of explain how this works is you think about a snowball rolling downhill. It starts small and you're like, okay, well, it's just a teeny tiny snowball. That's not going to do anything. But as it keeps rolling, it keeps picking up more speed. It keeps getting bigger and bigger. It's picking up snow as it goes along. And by the time you know it gets to the bottom, it's huge. Your healthy habits function in the same way. If you start with one or two and you're like, okay, this is cool and all, like, what did I start? I started with them. Um, I was going to exercise three days a week and I was going to start planning my food. Now, I wasn't getting crazy. I wasn't like, oh, I'm never eating, you know, cookies and ice cream again. You know, I'm never having treats. You know, I'm just going to eat nothing but chicken and broccoli. Like, no. That was, yeah, I mean, sure, that's effective and all, but I know me. I'm not going to be able to stick with that. And if I'm not going to stick with that, then it doesn't do me any good to try and plan that for my life. You know, instead, it was like, okay, I can exercise three days a week, and I can plan my food, and then from there, once I mastered those skills, then I could add stuff in. So then it's like, okay, well, now we're going to start having healthy breakfasts, because we know how to do these things now. Let's layer on. Let's improve a little bit. Let's make these micro improvements as I go along, but that's, God, I just, it's hard for me to articulate how much more successful you will be when you take this approach. When you just add in a little bit at a time, you wait until you master it, and then you move on. I've seen so many people who go all in, try to do all the things, make these huge changes to their diet because, hey, it, it sounds cool, but then, you know, you talk to them a few weeks later and where are they at? Right back where they started because it wasn't sustainable. There's no point in trying to make this huge overhaul in your life if you cannot keep up with it. And, you know, we don't, we don't always want to admit that we can't be those people. But honestly, nobody who lives that life started like that and just flipped a switch and they did it the next day. You know, it's always a gradual process where you just start adding in a little bit more, adding it a little bit more. You keep it super doable and achievable. And then, you know, when you look up six months from now, it's not hard anymore. It's not difficult because you built that up slowly. You built up the skill of these improvements in your life. I'll give y'all another example. You know, I'm super, super good at handling my water. Like, I drink my water like a champ. I make sure I get as much as I need every day. And it's made a really big difference, you know, my hunger cravings and my weight loss, all the things, right? Well, I used to be all about some juice. <laughs> that was my drink of choice. I was never a soda fan, but I could handle some juice. 
And that was all I drank. And I was like, I don't drink water like this. Tasteless. And da, 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 da. Well, it was like, okay, when I was ready to make that change, I didn't all of a sudden never buy juice anymore. I didn't all of a sudden, I'm just cold turkey. I'm not having juice, right? Like that was my thing. So what I did instead was like, okay, well, let's just start switching out our, our drinks at breakfast. That's easy enough. I can do that. I can stick with that. And then from there, it was like, okay, now that we got that down, let's start switching out our drinks for lunch, you know? And then after I was good at that, then it was like dinner. And then I was like, okay, well, we're not going to have any snacks. And then, so now, even when I go out to restaurants, I'm typically ordering water because I built up the skill of switching to that. I didn't try to say, I'm just going to do it all at once because I wasn't ready for that. Now, what, you know, what healthy habits you may be ready for and which ones you're not, obviously you're going to know yourself best, but I really encourage you to be really honest and really realistic with yourself about what that is, because it's really easy for us to set ourselves up for failure in that we just try to do too many things. And what happens with that is when it doesn't work out, we're left feeling like, oh, I'm just lazy, I'm not disciplined enough, I can't do that. Just all those negative thoughts that really make it hard for us to want to keep going. I don't want that for you. I really want y'all to reach your health and fitness goals this year. And so definitely when you're adding in your healthy habits, when you're kind of going through this whole process and you're setting your goals and you're deciding what you need to do to get healthy and fit this year, be realistic about what you can actually handle. Like look at your list and be like, okay, I'm ready for this one today. I'm not ready for that one. And I'm going to come back to that when I'm ready, but I'm really just going to focus on mastering this. And like, I promise y'all, you will make so much more progress doing it this way than just trying to completely overhaul your life. All right. That's what I got for y'all today. I really hope y'all have a good day. If you have any questions, you know, you need me to explain something a little bit more, absolutely let me know. I would be happy to help. I will talk to y'all soon. Bye.